Hello all you creepers and welcome back. We are still playing Gabriel Knight, of course, and we are heading into the police station to talk to our buddy Detective Mosley, or as Gabriel Knight so cleverly says, Detective Mosley. <laughs> um He apparently solved the case Knight, of the voodoo murders. I hate to tell you this, but you're out of a book. As you the see. Voodoo murders case has been closed. I had a feeling you were gonna say that. Son of a bitch. Why don't I believe this? Almost as if like we are not done with this game, even though that'd be fucking awesome. Like next to no real, can like solid plot going on yet. Like, oh, case done. Close. Roll credits. I but you, let's. Bud, I'm pretty pissed off about this case being closed. You guys are making a big mistake. Hey, I'm not any happier about it than you are, Knight. <laughs> yeah. Why orders. can't we have more people dying so I can write my damn book? How can I convince you to reopen the case? Look, the department's not interested. So, couldn't you make them interested? With what? I got seven bodies and still no leads. The voodoo angle's worthless, and besides, these people aren't hurting anybody but out-of-town drug dealers and hitmen. The voodoo stuff is not worthless. It's the key to the whole thing. And these mm -hmm. people are dangerous. They need to be stopped. Okay, okay. That, that's you a little better. You reopen this case? Prove what you just said. What do you mean? Uh, you need to prove that there's a legitimate voodoo cult in Narland. Prove that they're a threat. Get me a lead on the cult. Now we're talking. Now we're starting to... Let's see. How can I convince you to reopen the case? I already now, told now we actually are somewhat involved in the case to directly. Prove that there's a legitimate voodoo cult in Narland. Prove that they're a threat. Mm -hmm. Get me a lead on the cult. Let's see. Well, it's still glowy How yellow, so let's... you to reopen the case? I already told you. Um, you still need to prove that there's a legitimate <laughs> voodoo cult in Narland. Five bucks. You still threat. need to. Get Something's me a gonna. Lead on the cult. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you're not you're not gonna be helpful. Um. So that's gonna be. So we got we actually got a couple things we still got to do for this day. Um. I'll let you get back to it. Later yep. Night. Get back next to a whole lot of nothing. Yep. 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 You waste. Yeah. You big, you big, you big goof. Um, that's all I needed to come here for, is just to sit down there and talk to him and say, hey, reopen the case. And he says, no. And I say, okay, well, you should. And he'll say, well, then give give, give me a reason to, because voodoo, voodoo's a, voodoo's a bunch of hogwash and billy bomb and who's a what's it's and, and, and I say, no, uh oh, no. So we're actually gonna just randomly come over here because that's what you do in Sierra games. And we're gonna go ahead and look through these uh, binoculars and see what's uh, going on, going on over here. And uh, nope, that's a whole lot of nothing. So we'll exit, we'll try uh, this one. And this is how you kind of just shoot for, okay. So we'll try this one. It's one of these. It's, I, I, I'm here for a reason, I promise. I'm not just going in blind scrabbling like I have been. Oh, lady's still gone. Um, then I bet you it's, of course, the last one. Or I just screwed up again and I'm a complete tool. That's Crash. What the hell is he uh, up to with that drama? That's what we're looking for. So, yep. Well, that's a very interesting... Huh. Yeah. Crash and the drummer. Interesting. Well, we should look into that. Uh, okay, that's Gabriel nothing. Gabriel is standing on the balcony of a building across the street from Jackson Square. On the balcony are four mounted binoculars. Mm-hmm. So, what we're going to do, um, that drummer probably isn't going to talk to us. So, we will exit out. Because that's, that again, that's all we needed to do here. We're going to hit the cathedral. And you could follow Crash here, um, I'm pretty sure, but I, I know he's here, because, like I said, it's it's been over 10 years since I've played this game, but a lot of this stuff is, like I said, it, it, it comes back to me, and hopefully I won't have to struggle through to too much to of it. Ask you some questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no way, man. Oh. I'm too sick. Go away. Come on. I have to know what you know about oh, these voodoo people. Oh, crap. Or... You don't know nothing about nothing, man. You are so far out of it, you wouldn't yeah. understand anything. Just like that 
friend of yours. Maybe I did Mosley. need to talk to him first, but I actually need to come Go back away. here because, again, I'm, I'm, like I'm kind of, I'm a big goof myself. I don't believe you. Oh, forget it, man. It's, it's not, not worth, worth my breath. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you sound a little under the weather. Um, I forgot to do something real quick. So we're gonna, and I'm not gonna even bother with him. I know he's not gonna want to talk to me. So, well, yet. Um, we're gonna exit to the map because, because Sam, who we met over at the Napoleon house, was gonna do me a solid, and he said he would even have it for me today. And look! Sam, my man. Hey, yeah. It's you. I got that bracelet for you. That's what we needed. So, there we go. One way or another, I needed to come back here anyway to get the bracelet. This piece was a real toughie. For some reason, the metal just wasn't setting. I must be out of practice. Well, it looks good to me. Thanks, Sam. Mm -hmm. No problem. You got it. By the way, I'm heading out of town tonight. Yeah? Well, too. Marcus used to tell me that if I ever beat him at chess, he'd take me around the world. The old bastard has enough money stuffed in his mattress to cover the federal deficit, and he hates spending a penny of it. I'm going to enjoy watching him squirm through every <laughs> mile. Sounds like fun. When I'm an old I bastard, I hope I have a relationship name. like this with somebody. Oh, you're an old man. You're an old man. And I, I've done some stuff with her, and, and I'm sure she'll be coming back pretty frequently. I'm pretty sure this is how me and... Well, nope, nope, that's not where I wanted to do. I'm pretty sure this is how me and Cataclysm are going to be a, a good friend of mine. We're going to just be a bunch of old crotchety people. Just, ah, go to hell. You go to hell. That's friendship. But... <coughs> yeah. Professionalism at its finest. I'm just going <laughs> to cough into the mic there. Just like our buddy Crash here. But we needed that bracelet because that's probably going to convince them to talk, maybe. Oh, look at that. Do you recognize this? Mm-hmm. I bet you do. <gasps> Where did you get that? Why? Do you know something about it? Know something about it? Look at this. Crash opens his shirt and reveals a tattoo. Mm -hmm. It's the same. The same snake. Oh. It's their sign, The bark of the snake. <coughs> Without it, they'll never let you get close. That's the good to know. The snake, right. Your tattoo, my bracelet. Now do you believe that I know something about these people? All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good con, good con. You know about them. I... <coughs> I guess. <coughs> Look around, all suspicious. Now we can talk to Crash, and uh, perhaps he'll uh, be a little more Will willing for the chitty chat. For me now. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll talk to you a little, but make it fast. I'll make it fast as this narration will allow me to. Okay, me first things first. Look, take some advice. Stay away from this voodoo shit. You don't really want to know, man. Believe me. Do yourself a favor and leave me alone. Mm hmm. Tell me what you know about a secret voodoo hound for all knowledge. Oh, man. <laughs> Just shut up about that. Can't you see I'm sick? Are you trying to kill me? Well, well maybe. What about the drummer? I saw you talking to that drummer. What did you tell him? You saw me with the drummer? Nobody's supposed to see. Oh, shit. I blow it again. Promise you won't say nothing to no one. It'll get back to him. Everything does. Promise me you won't tell anyone you saw me. Okay, but you have to tell me everything I want to know. Okay, okay, all right. I was sending a message, man. They have these rider drummers posted around the quarter. They see everything, and they report. Report? How? The drums, man. It's some kind of code. It's a code, man. It's a code. Well, tell me more. Tell me what you know about a secret voodoo hound for all Nolans. All right, all right. This is underground cartel in Nolans. A voodoo cartel. They control everything that happens on the street. I mean everything that's bought or sold. They have fingers in the legit world too. Banks, <laughs> foreign stuff, you name it. They're supposed to be this temple. What you said, a hound for. That's their headquarters, man. I heard people say it's underground, mm -hmm. somewhere in the quarter. I don't know where though. Have you ever been there? No, no. I've never been in it. I'm nobody, man. A runner, but I saw them once. Run! Run! They became animals, man. Beasts. Oh, you know way too much, man. You're eyes. not gonna live through this. The eyes. The eyes. 
The bells! The eyes! The bells! The, the, eyes the eyes! Of the snake! I think I should go get a Sounds like a metal song. <laughs> eyes of the snake! Hey, are you all right? Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> yeah. So, I need help. Uh-oh. The eyes... The eyes... Of the snake... Dambala... Oh, we've been hearing about Dambala a little bit. spasms twice more. Then dies as Gabriel watches. Oh my That's, god. Oh, poor bastard. That is in the category of not cool, brah. Not cool. So, what I'm gonna do is, of course, inspect the body like you do when someone just randomly dies of probably a voodoo curse, pretty sure. Um, we're gonna go ahead and open, I love that, that was a door, open the shirt. So that was the tattoo he was talking to us about. That is probably something we're I gonna want to sketch. Tattoo. Yeah, we're, we're gonna probably want that in the future. Um, man, Crash I'm sorry, buddy. Crash's face shows signs of strangulation. His death was not a pleasant one. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, buddy. Um, Moving the body is the job of the coroner's office. My bad, my bad, my bad. On so. Crash's chest is a tattoo of a snake. That tattoo yeah. looks like Casano's bracelet. Mm-hmm. Not even close. Um, other than they're both snakes. Um, you know what? This is not the place we're going to want to be when people show up and all that. So let's uh, GTFO. And back here we are. And... It's about time for us to first double, double click, a little fast to walk, walk. There we go, and uh, head on back. I knew you'd miss me, so I came back. Oh, really? there's been a guy on. staring creepily at Gracie and at us, and suddenly he's gone. Funny that. So now that we're back here, uh. I'm missing something. I know I am. Shit, hold on. Ah, there we are. Crash See, I knew I was forgetting something. What? It's What are you talking about? I think every I night. Go this morning. Yeah. Yeah, well that turned out to be a brilliant move. Though they probably would have gotten Every there. night they, when we're done with the day, they just send me that. back to the bookstore. The I don't cult. go there myself. Crash said that you're an amateur. So let me give you some advice. Crash is a well, he was a junkie. You gotta read through the hallucinations. You know what I mean? Where's the body anyway? Mm -hmm. St. Louis Cathedral. Lovely. Well, we'll make sure he's picked up sometime today so he doesn't <gasps> scare the shit out of some nun. We'll get around chill, to it. Gabe. In this business, you see a lot of stiffs. Your professionalism is a stone. Yeah. We'll we'll get around to the dead body when we wanna. How can I convince you to Yeah. I already told you, you still mm -hmm. prove that there's prove that So what we're gonna do first things first we're gonna show him I took this tracing from a tattoo on crash's, crash's chest. chest it's related to the underworld voodoo cult yeah what makes you think that it's what crash said just before he died he was probably hallucinating from the tracing mm -hmm. deed on probably got that in the navy or something no i'm sure it's related it's a snake see and if even if it were a signal of some sort that doesn't prove that the murders were done by a legit voodoo cult of course not So let's go ahead and show him this. I have this. this snake bracelet. It's a replica of one used in secret voodoo ceremonies a few decades ago. Really? What makes you think so? I got it from an old Creole lady whose grandmother was an acolyte of Marie Laveau. Gabriel, Gabriel, we get those little old ladies in here all the time. That Dude. bracelet is probably not genuine, and it wouldn't prove anything if it were. <sighs> what do I have to Can convince you, you of? You're the yeah, okay. So, how can I can? Here's how it's dropping me hints. Okay. You still need proof that there's a legitimate voodoo cult in Narland. I still got a threat, and I got to prove their threat, the and I got to get a lead. Um, I don't have the rights. Okay, let's try this. You know those marks you found? Right there it is. This is a reconstruction of the whole pattern. What makes you I knew, think this I knew is it was something. Reconstruction. Well, I borrowed the partial patterns from your police file and did my mm -hmm. own tracing of the pattern at Lake Pontchartrain. An architectural artist reconstructed it for me from the partials. 
And we heard the little bling 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 because so we're huh? making progress with that's points. That's pretty good work, Knight, but that doesn't prove that this pattern is really connected to voodoo. Mm hmm. That's okay. So let's see. We'll open up our uh, inventory here. See if I have. Let's let's see if there's anything in my that sketchbook. No. Okay. Um. Can I ask you? You're the hmm. writer. How let's see. I and one of these now should go away you because. Still need yep. To prove that there's a legitimate voodoo cult in Norland. Prove mm -hmm. that they're a threat. Get me a lead on the cult. Jeff. Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? <laughs> no. <laughs> Is that anything like a Chuck Jaeger? I don't think there's any relation. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Maybe I was wrong here. But, okay. I, I know I'm missing something. <sighs> well, at least we made some little bit of progress here. Hold on. Oh. Oh my god, if this was all Could I was you missing. Do some research for me. Sure, what? Could you research oh, okay. Rada drums for me? Rada drums? Sure. I don't think we have any books on that topic in the shop, but I'll contact our suppliers. Assuming Thank any you. of them will extend you any credit. <laughs> Tell <laughs> yeah, them it's right. an emergency. Uh-huh. I can see where a Rada drum book would be incredibly urgent. Anything else? Nope, can't think of anything. I can't think of Yep. Oh, please, is that it? No. Rah! Maybe I can just lay down. It's no use. Yeah, damn it. <sighs> Hold on! Goodbye, Mr. Knight. It's getting late. <gasps> oh my god! That was it? Really? Son of a bitch! So, yeah, I picked up a flyer from the museums. After spending hours, I talked to everybody. I did everything. I broke down, looked at a walkthrough. By the sounds of it, it looked like I did everything fine. It's me. And I monkey butts. Sleep. I had to pick up a me flyer. Neither. Can I? Oh. Yes. Whoa. Come. I was just there, and she said you were busy. Or the butler did. But Thank God. Progress. We're making progress. Bringing us finally to day five. The road was blocked. The truth was shunned. White flag has been waved. Reversal cost me all I had and everything I braved. Hey, we made it through that time because I wasn't rambling like a crazy when I should have because I spent way too much time to pick up a goddamn flyer. So it could be getting late and blah, blah, blah. So we could come back and... Rah. And we know this situation. Yep, lights are... Whoa! Someone's coming home a little late. Alright, so we grab our cup of coffee. Okay, Gabriel? Sure. Right. Why? Still creepy man out there I'm looking at me. About you. If I were any better, Grace, I'd be dead. Now what's up? What? <laughs> you got another package this morning. Overnight from Germany. <laughs> it's still one of my favorite things about living in an apartment is when I have to go pick up something from the office, I can just walk in and proudly well, proclaim, kind of I have a open, package. But I salvaged the contents. There was a letter from your great uncle Wolfgang and a journal. The package Sweet. came open, huh? How'd you like the journal? Someone has to look after you. You're in trouble, in case you didn't know it. Yeah, you've been reading my horoscope again, haven't you, Grace? Just read the journal carefully, Gabriel. Please. Sure, I sure thing. It. Oh. Okay. St. George's book. Bus busy morning oh, for us, ain't it? I'm glad you called. Did oh, you? yay. Oh, you did. You did. Oh, wait. Slow down. The agree. Really? You think that's them? Well, you're within a wheel. Ogun what? Agree, huh? Uh huh. Well, We're Gabriel Knight. We should be able to hear the, the other side of this conversation. Slave. Just saying. That's the wavy pattern at the bottom. Okay. The 1791 slave revolt in Santo Domingo. Well, why would the Veve show up there? Uh huh. Okay, okay, okay. L look, 
I'll come over as soon as I can, okay? Relax, Professor. I'm excited too, but you're gonna give yourself a heart attack. Okay, thanks. Simmer down now. Simmer down now. All right. I wish you'd tell me what's going on. I swear you're gonna step into a hole you may never get out of. Don't look so worried. No one knows what I'm doing. I'm perfectly safe, and I'm getting some great stuff for the book. Besides, there's something about all this. My dream. Yeah, dude. What about it, it took dreams? us five days to figure oh, it out, but I'll be careful. I'm a thinking that um, we got this that is no longer about the book. This morning, the one Ooh. on Rada drums. Really? Man, busy, right. busy bumblebee this morning. Good thing. Oh, did unfortunately, I didn't sleep in. <laughs> yeah, I did find something. I checked the microfiche at the public library. I found oh, an you. article about a murder in 1810. The newspaper published part of a pattern found around the body. It looks damn close. You're incredible. All that work. Ah, uh, that's kind of stretching. I'd say you're micro-fishing for clues. Okay, so we got we got a couple of things. Okay, first, okay, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's see, check out. We got a voodoo article. Let's, uh... It's a newspaper clipping mm -hmm. from the year 1810. Let's uh, check the that out. Clipping describes a ritualistic murder in Congo Square. I'm it pretty sure that looked a like our sketch thing. Of a pattern found around the body. The sketch is very similar to the reconstructed veve. Okay, sweet. And then we the got book this book. contains several pages of Rada drum codes. Oh, that's gonna come in very handy. We got Favorite a book here. Through the pages, Wolfgang marked. He reads of Gunter Ritter's journey to Charleston as a witch hunter, hired by the townsmen to solve a series of ritualistic murders. He Sounds reads familiar. about Gunter's meeting with the beautiful slave woman, Tetala, and of Gunter's tormenting urges for her. Okay. He reads of their <laughs> physical union and passion, and of Gunter's investigation into the murders. The victims were all crew members on a certain slaving expedition to Africa, it seems. The second to the last entry describes Gunter's plan to set a trap for the coven committing the murders. He'd found a name on one of the surviving members of the crew, a man now living in the West Indies. Okay. Gunter has spread a false rumor that the man is returning to Charleston. He himself will impersonate a sailor and allow himself to fall into the hands of the coven. Gotcha. Naturally, Gunter has arranged for able-bodied assistants to follow and attack the coven before they can do him harm. Ballsy son of a bitch, wasn't he? Gabriel turns to the final entry of the journal. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, dear Father, I offer these final words as a, an apology for the harm done to our sacred office. The woman I wrote of, Tatello, uh, was the witch I sought. I have committed terrible crimes. I love this witch and then used our sacred family power to free her and aid her in destroying this colony. The talisman is gone. Tetelo took it. I can but pray for the swift recovery of the talisman. And that, my punishment in hell, will be... Long and bitter. Thy undeserving song, Gunter. Okay, uh, let's make sure we can't click on anything here. Okay, so now we know that Gabriel Knight's family is, they were a witch hunters. They have been cursed as we learned from Grandmama. And uh, they all suffer from these chronic nightmares that Gabriel Knight has been suffering, and, except if he hooks up with the Nuss lady. So, all right, God, and we got, we got stuff to do, but it always, well, you know what? No, I'm not going to look at the newspaper yet. I think we will start this day in the next episode. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, especially when I have to stumble through and edit a bunch of hours out. You guys are awesome. Peace.